No Room for Doubt is a loose member of the, the Big Coat series. Big Coat series is a body of work that is just now being finished. And the Big Coats all have in common the heavy outer garment. Protection from the elements, protection from virtually everything. So he's a big coat. He's intended to stand outside. He, he wants to be outside. This is an out-of-door piece. And it's perfect that he be standing on the street in Lafayette. I work with the human animal spirit, human animal condition, the combined, the conjoined form is, is consistent. All of my work starting in 1979 has been anthropomorphic. Hadn't done a moose for a while. We were up north. Last summer, I decided to, or summer before, and I decided to go ahead and, and do another moose headed piece. And this piece was worked full size. He's not an enlargement of a smaller sculpture. So this piece was worked the scale that he is right now. There is no small copy. I like to say about the work that they're the historically and culturally influenced, but not historically or culturally correct. So these are pretty multicultural pieces. You know, you might find a little bit of Native American in there, but then you'll find a little bit of a kind of a mountain man character in there, and then all of a sudden he'll go off and become Asian. And that, I'm, I'm enjoying that. It's, it's freeing up the, the personality of the characters. Pretty much do anything you want at that point. So that's only about five years old that I've been working with the bronze sculptures. And in most cases, they start out as a ceramic original. A mold is pulled, it's cast, and in some cases, it's enlarged. No room for doubt is an exception to that. He was work full size. Arts funding. Artists are business persons. And a lot of people don't understand that artists are business persons. We sell our concepts. We sell... A, a finished object. Um, and I'd like, I'd like to, to take issue with, and this isn't an issue that you've made, but I'd like to take issue with the, the notion that art is a non-essential item. And art is part of the human condition. You have never through history or prehistory had a time when there was not art. Art is very much part of the human condition. Funding is huge. It allows funding for a project like this. More people will see more artwork. Some people won't look at it. Some people will, will in a year from now, they will never remember that a moose stood in front of Mojo's. But the people that do appreciate it, the people that do see it, they'll get it. Some will get it more than others. But no, art funding is, is huge. This is a business. This is what I do. This is how I make a living. And it's not, and I studied. I went through um, six years of, of educa um, higher education and then actually learned what I was doing out on, out on the street. So it, um, funding is important. I am hoping, he's, he's in a great spot. I want people to sit there and have coffee with him in the morning and kind of treat this object as a living thing, living entity. The work that I do, I like, I like to inject, I'm trying to make these characters as not lifelike, but alive as possible. Uh, I'd like to see people take their um, prom photos next to No Room for Doubt, or you know, a wedding photo or something taken next to No Room for Doubt sort of look forward to seeing him stand there, because he'll stand there and, and wait for us.